Ito yung question. Paano daw hahanapin yung value ng function of x if a function of x is equal to 1 over 8? Siyempre, hindi madaling kuhain yung value niyan kasi wala siyang equation. So, kailangan natin ng equation para makuha natin yung value of the function of x. And paano natin yun gagawin? For study purposes, I'm going to be making my own f of x equation. That would be function of x is equal to 3x plus 5. Ayan, gagamitin kong equation para ma-manipulate itong ating problem. Okay. Ang first step, pa-plug in lang natin yung value ng f of x. Siyempre, sa value din na eh. Sa, sa kung nasaan yung f of x. So, this will be 1 over 8 is equal to 3x plus 5. Then, manipulation by algebraic using using uh, algebraic manipulation, ipat natin yung, iwanan natin yung 3x, itipat natin tong 5 sa kabila. Or pwede rin namang mag-negative. Pero, mas okay na yung positive lang yung variable natin. Para wala na masyadong, wala na masyadong manipulation na gagawin. Ayan. Let's not make things complicated. So, ngayon, susunod na natin gagawin, simplify natin to. And how do we subtract fraction? Siyempre, kailangan. Pareho ang denominator niyan. So, we have to multiply this by 8. By 8. So, 1 over 8 is equal to 40. Ay, sorry. Minus equals 3x. Ayan. Tapos, the answer would be 39 negative 8 is equal to 3x tapos ibababa lang natin ito dito negative 38 para maiwan yung x we have to divide both sides by 3 so this will be times 3 Ayan. kasi nasa baba naman na siya so, i-multiply na lang natin siya da sa 8. And, equal to x. So, our x is negative 3 over 24. Ang kompletong question nito is yung value nito should be rounded off to the nearest or should be rounded off to 3 decimal places. As since wala naman tayong calculator handy para lang ma-refresh ang memory paano mag-round off, let's say Let's say we were able to get the value of 1.67875 blah, 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 blah. It's a continuous division. Paano natin to i-round off to three decimal places? So, when we're rounding off decimal numbers, we start counting from the left going to the right. So, that's 1, 2, 3. So, that's our third decimal place. Then, we're going to be checking the fourth or yung katabi niya lang, yung katabing number to the right para ma-determine natin kung it's going to be if, we're ha if we have to round it up or we have to round it down. In this case, we have to round this up because 7 is greater than 5. So, our final answer, again, this is just, this is not the exact answer. Ito ay uh, parang ano lang explanation lang on how to round off because that's the next question ng ating sender. So, this is gonna be round up. So, that's 6, 7, 9. Yan. Di ba madali? Oh, kaya lang, wala kasing equation provide. Kaya medyo nahirapan ma-figure out ni sender. Siguro. Dahil wala siyang equation or kung meron na baka hindi niya na ilagay. But this is basically how to do it. Just plug in, just plug in the value of the f of x to the equation, and then using algebraic manipulation, ayan, prayer 7 or 8 ata yan, I mean grade 8 or grade 7, using algebraic manipulation, you come up with this answer. Using a calculator, Pwede mong makuha yung exact value ng x using a calculator. Tapos, if you want it to round off, to be rounded off, ito lang. 
hope clear.